Welcome back to Liquor Camp, everybody. I have got another full-flavored lineup for you today, and this time we're bringing you Evan Williams. You may already be familiar with the name Evan Williams, as they produce a pretty popular and widely available bourbon. It comes out of a distillery that produces a number of different popular bourbons. It's the Heaven Hill Distillery out of Bardstown, Kentucky, and they produce bourbons such as Larceny, Elijah Craig, Henry McKenna, and others. So let's get into Evan Williams flavored whiskeys. Now at the time of filming, they currently only have five regular flavors in their normal lineup. They have two seasonal flavors, the eggnog and the spice cider, but their normal lineup is these five flavors here, peach, cherry, apple, honey, and fire. Now we have actually featured those regular flavors in other flavored whiskey videos of ours, and I've tried all of them. The two seasonal ones are fairly new to me. I've only just tried the eggnog and I haven't even tried the spice cider. So stick with me to the end because I am gonna try that for the first time and give you my honest opinion. So let's start with fire. So on the nose, I mean, it's hot tamale. That's what you get when you smell this and on the aroma, that's really just all that you get. Pretty much same with the flavor. It tastes like an adult hot tamale. And when you're thinking about having a, like a fireball alternative around as a shooter, this is definitely one I would pick up because of the price. It's a solid cinnamon flavor, it's a good whiskey burn, and it's a great shooter. So let's move on to honey. So the aroma on this one, it really gives that kind of a honey hard candy type of aroma it's not something where you feel like you're opening a jar of honey but it's more that hard candy type of honey aroma the flavor it has a really good bourbon flavor it also has that hard candy honey type of flavor on it really good uh, flavor to it i do like it and for the price, you really can't beat it. For having it around for cocktails or a hot toddy, something like that, this is a great flavor on to the apple. Now this one is the one, the only one of the five regular flavors that is 70 proof, so I would expect this to be a little bit uh, more of a burn. The aroma is that sour apple, green apple type of Jolly Rancher aroma that you get with most of the apple flavored whiskeys around. The flavor it is really great. It matches what you're getting on the nose. It's sour green apple type of flavor, but it has enough of that bourbon in there. You can taste it, but I like the backup of the richness of the whiskey in there too. This is a great apple, especially for the price, because once again, all of these are under $15. I would recommend that you keep this one around, especially if you're having a lot of friends over or if you want to do a lot of cocktails, this would be a great one to pick for those. So next up, let's try peach. Now, peach is actually one of the ones that we featured in our peach flavored whiskey video, which was actually our first video. So I do remember this one very fondly. It has a great candy peach ring uh, aroma to it. I expect that's probably gonna be the way it tastes. And I'm right. I still taste the whiskey in here. And again, it's kind of like an adult peach ring. It has a great flavor. It's awesome for the price. And this would be awesome in cocktails. So on to my actual favorite of the Evan Williams flavors so far, which is the cherry. We featured this in our cherry flavored whiskey video recently. And I remember liking it a lot in that video. This one has a cherry punch type of aroma to it. And that's one of the reasons why I liked it so much. Most of the cherries that we tried kind of leaned toward that cherry kind of cough syrupy type of flavor. This one did not, and it actually really surprised me. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I liked it so much. It tastes like Hawaiian punch or like a cherry punch. This has a, a unique flavor to it, but I still get that whiskey in the background. I really like this one over all of, or most of the cherries. There were some that came through as a different type of flavor, but this one was one of my favorites. So the last two we're gonna try are the Evan Williams seasonal releases, the eggnog and the spice cider. Unlike the other five, which are usually available only in liquor stores because of their higher proof, 
These two are lower proof and they are usually available not only in your liquor stores, but also in your grocery wine and beer sections. Let's try the eggnog. Now this is actually a, a whiskey with real cream. So you will have to shake this and it absolutely needs to be refrigerated after you open it. It has a wonderful, like a bread pudding type of aroma to it. They recommend that you serve this chilled, and I would definitely agree with that. I think this is great to drink around the holiday table, over ice. It has a great, rich, creamy flavor. It has the same flavor that it has on the nose. It tastes like a really nice, maybe bourbon-infused bread pudding. It has a really good vanilla flavor on the background and maybe some pecans or walnuts. It has a wonderful balanced flavor. Really recommend that you try it eggnog. All right, now down to the one that I haven't tried. We're going to pop this baby and I'm going to do it here with you. So the smell on this actually reminds me of apple cider that you would get at like a fall festival or a pumpkin patch or maybe if you were better than me and you actually make it at home. It's got a good baked apple and cinnamon type of aroma to it. The taste has that same type of feel. It's got um, apple and cinnamon and nutmeg, but they actually say even on the bottle that you should enjoy this warm. So let's try it hot. So now that we've heated it up, let's give it a try. So yeah, we've tried a couple other ciders and just like those, when you heat this one up, you really wake it up. You pull a lot of those really great spiced apple cider flavors, the baked apple and the cinnamon and the nutmeg, you just wake it up. It comes alive and it's much more vibrant when it's warmed up. So overall, I think Evan Williams does a fantastic job with their flavored whiskeys. If you like flavored whiskeys or whiskeys in general, please go check out our other videos up here. Hit that like and subscribe before you go. Remember to always drink responsibly and we'll see y'all back here at the camp.